In the next six weeks, I am planning on transforming this 31 year old body. Welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new here, hey what's up, I'm Anita, I'm a Bachelor of Health Science graduate and a huge fitness enthusiast. I make fitness content on platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels and then obviously a little bit here on YouTube too. In my 20s, I used to be a bikini competitor. I did my first bikini competition with a coach and then I did my second one by myself, I coached myself through it and for both of them, I won overall bikini champion. So then I decided, you know what, let's take on the provincial stage and I hired a bodybuilding coach for that and honestly I probably should have just coached myself to the stage it was such a flop I had so many different life stressors going on I was working with a coach who had never met me before knew nothing about how my body responds to a competition prep and it just wasn't good but I still went into it with a good mindset having so much fun and totally committed myself to the process it's been forever since I have competed but I figured what the heck I'm six weeks out from vacation why don't we do this as a fun little challenge see how much we can transform our body by doing a mock bikini prep it's been years since I've competed but what the heck let's do it again so welcome to my 2023 bikini prep series pretty much my version of Christian Guzman's summer shredding even though I won't be actually stepping on stage I'm going to treat these next six weeks seriously as if I am going to step on a stage. So if you are going to a beach vacation yourself or you're getting ready for a wedding or some sort of special event, let's take on this challenge together and let's dedicate the next six weeks to this. So if I'm shredding for the stage or shredding for an event or a beach vacation or a wedding like I did last year, the number one thing I always make sure I have in place is a good workout program that's aligned with my fitness and physique goals. Personally, I absolutely love fitness. I'm an online fitness coach. I went to school for health science. So putting together the exercise program and creating a strategy around working out is by far my favorite part of this entire process. So if you are taking on a six week challenge like this with me, you're going to want to make sure that you also have a workout program that suits you and your physique goals. Simply put, setting some goals and then having a strategy in place that's going to help you get to those goals is crucial. The answer to achieving your summer fitness goals is in having a plan. If your workout program has been put together properly, you should really be getting the most out of your workouts and out of that time that you're dedicating to working out, which is especially important if you're looking to achieve your goals in a limited amount of time. I am going to be strength training five to six times a week. And don't worry, I'm gonna make sure that I post my week of workouts here in the bikini prep series. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you never miss a new video. My goal is to get a video up every single Wednesday morning for the next six weeks. Now, I'm sure you know this part, but we like to forget it sometimes, but you can't outwork a bad diet. And nutrition is a huge part of achieving your weight loss goals or your recomp goals. So make sure that you have a good nutrition plan and strategy in place for this. Plus we're training to be healthy inside and out, right? So this is where I feel like some people get a little bit crazy with competition prep. If you don't already have a good relationship with food or a good relationship with your body, this might not be the right challenge for you. But more on that later. I don't like to look at food as good or bad, but when I am in bikini prep, I do really pay attention and I'm a lot more conscious of the food that I am putting into my body. I try to keep it as nutritious and unprocessed as possible. So for the next six weeks, I'm not going crazy with restrictions or macros, but my plan is to cut out dairy, wheat, sugar, and alcohol, which are all things that are a part of my diet right now. I think that in just taking those four things out or really trying to limit them, you can see a huge change in your physique goals too. As for macronutrient calculating, I have not been tracking my calories or my macros since competing. So I'm not even really sure where I'm sitting at now, but meal prep is already a big part of my weekly routine. So I think what 
I'm gonna start doing is weighing and portioning all my meals out. And then I'll spend the first couple weeks of this six weeks challenge trying to see if my weight is fluctuating in an upwards direction, which means I'm overeating and I have a calorie surplus, or if my weight is going down quite fast, which I would say if you lose more than two pounds in one week, it's a little bit too fast. And so then I'll know that I'm under eating and I can actually supplement with a little bit more food. And again, don't worry, I'm going to make sure I hook you guys up with a bikini prep grocery haul and diet, which will be a part of this bikini prep series. So again, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications if you haven't already to see more of that. My mindset going into a bikini competition has to be very dialed in and focused. Again, you have to go into a challenge like this with already having a healthy relationship with your body and with food. If you don't have those two things intact beforehand, Doing a competition or doing a challenge like this will not make you love your body more. In fact, doing something like this could probably mess up your relationship with your body and with food even more. So again, I advise you not to do something like this if those two things aren't something that you already have down pat. I personally love my body in all shapes, all sizes, in all seasons that it goes through. My body's so strong and it takes such good care of me that all I want to do is take care of it the same way it takes care of me. So in this six week challenge, I will not be going crazy drastic or extreme like I would during a competition prep. I'm not gonna do a very drastic cut, but I am gonna be strategic with my workout plan and with my nutrition plan so that I do get results within six weeks, hopefully see my abs much more and can just shed off a little bit more of this Fat. Let's just see how lean we can get in the next six weeks in a healthy, sustainable way. I also won't go into this challenge telling myself that there are good foods and there are bad foods or that my body isn't good enough somehow. You have to be really critical of your physique while competing because that's what you're judged on. You are standing on a stage with a bunch of other females being judged on how you look and how you are perceived by the judges. But I love to look at competing as more of like a little project. I like to think of myself as a sculptor, an artist, and I like to see how can I mold and shape this body in this time frame using tools like working out and good nutrition. I don't look at it as my body is good or bad. Fat or shred it. So again, if your relationship with food or with your body image is not good, this is not the challenge for you. It only gets worse if those things aren't intact first. So welcome to my 2023 bikini prep series. Pretty much my version of Christian Guzman's summer shredding series. I'm going to be taking progress pictures and weighing in for this and then also tracking my macros and my workouts for this. And I'm going to share with you kind of like my mindset and any kind of struggles that I'm going through throughout this six week process. I can't wait to actually commit myself to this. I feel like I haven't had a fitness goal in so long. I've just been strength training. So I want to see how we can transform this 31 year old body in the next six weeks. And then it's going to be fun. At the end of it, I got a two week vacation in the Caribbean. I'm going to get to just relax and enjoy. So if you are down for the ride. If you are up for the challenge, make sure you hit subscribe, like this video if you got any value out of it, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you never miss when the new videos come out. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I'm taking you guys on my grocery haul, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about my bikini prep diet. I'll see you guys there.